everyone, it's Amanda from Loops and Love Crochet and here is this cute little mini bears in stockings pattern that is on the blog and I thought I would do a quick video tutorial to show you how to work up the stockings for this pattern. Uh, this free pattern for the bears and the stockings is on my blog loopsandlovecrochet.com and I also do have lots of photos and a photo tutorial for working up the stocking, but I thought I would also do a video tutorial too because sometimes it's a little bit tricky to get that heel shape in the stocking. And these little bears just sit nicely, they're just little, um, and they sit nicely inside of their little stocking. And there we go. So we'll work up some of these, uh, this one of these stockings here and I'll show you how that goes. So we're just gonna be using some worsted weight yarn and I'm gonna use the same 3.25 millimeter crochet hook that um, I used for working up the bears. So we're gonna start off here with a magic circle. And I do have a magic circle um, and increasing rounds video tutorial also on my YouTube channel. We're going to chain two and we're going to work eight half double crochet stitches into the ring here. And there we go. Just gonna pull this ring nice and tight. And then I'm going to join to the top of the first stitch with a slip stitch. So the top of the first half double crochet with a slip stitch here. And then we're gonna chain two. Now I'm just pulling this yarn tail tight here and then I'm going to work in that yarn tail on this next round here and we're going to be doing increases this round. So we're going to work two half double crochet stitches into each stitch around. So since our first round was eight stitches, um, we're doubling it this round so that will be 16 stitches. And you can choose to work in the yarn tail as you go now, or you can choose to work it in later. It's up to you, whatever your preference is. Um, it is a little bit easier to weave it in now though than it is when your whole stocking's done, because just with the shape of the stocking makes it a little bit harder to get in there to weave the end in on the inside. We got two more increases left here. And there we go. So now I'm going to join back to the top of the first half double crochet with a slip stitch. And now we're going to go on to the next round of increases, which is going to be two half double crochet stitches in the first stitch and then one half double crochet in the next three stitches. So we'll chain two. We'll do two half double crochet stitches into the first stitch. And then one in the next three. And then two. And then three. And then two. And then three. Oh, my yarn, my yarn just split there. And then three sing half double crochets here. One, two. Three and then two and then three in the last three stitches here. One, two, three. 
there we go so we finished our next round of increases next we're going to do um, one last increase round we're going to work two half double crochet stitches into the first stitch and then we're going to work one into the next four stitches and I'm just going to cut this yarn tail here since I worked it in on that other round and then it won't be in the way if you didn't work yours in though don't cut it yet because then it will unwind from the middle there we go I'm gonna chain two two half double crochet stitches in the first stitch and then one half double crochet in the next four stitches so one two three four and then the two and then four again And then two for this increase here. And then four. And then two, and then one in each of the last four. One, two, three, four. So now I'm going to join to the first stitch with a slip stitch here and chain two. Now for the next two rounds, we're just going to be working one half double crochet into each stitch. Um, and that will be for the next two full rounds of this pattern. It's just one half double crochet into each stitch round. So it's 24 stitches per each of those two rounds. Um, so I'll do those two rounds off camera. And then I'll come back and then we'll work the heel section together. Okay, so here we are. We just finished rounds five and six, just one half double crochet in each stitch. And now we're gonna start working this heel section here. So we're gonna start working in some turned rows here back and forth while we work this heel area. Um, and that's just because, I'm gonna show you on this one here, uh, we wanna create this rounded heel shape here to separate the heel from the toe so we just worked this part right here and now we're going to work this little heel section and then we'll continue with the rest of the height of the stocking here so we're just going to chain two and then we're going to work four half double crochet stitches so one in the for each of the first four stitches so I did my chain two and then my first one in the same stitch as the chain two. Okay, so there's the four, first four half double crochet stitches. Now I'm going to chain two and then turn. And then we're gonna work a half double crochet into each of those four stitches again. So one, two, three, four. And there we go. And then we're going to do a half double crochet decrease in the next two stitches here on the previous row or two rows down here. We're gonna go back to this kind of main row and we're gonna work um, a half double crochet decrease just in these next two stitches. So we're not going to do the one that had already been worked in down here. We're going to work in the next two. So here is my half double crochet decrease. There we are. I'm just going to pull that in a little bit. And now we're going to chain two and turn. And then now we're going to work a half double crochet uh, into each of these five stitches. So the first one will go in the top of that decrease. My yarn is just splitting a little there. Okay, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, 
five. So just one on each of the top of those stitches there. And then now we're going to work um, a half double crochet into the end of the previous two rows and then we'll work a decrease. So we're gonna work in a half double crochet decrease in the end of this previous row and the end of this previous row because we're on our third row here. So we're gonna work half double crochet here and half double crochet here. And that's just the end of each of those two rows. And then we're gonna work another half double crochet decrease in the next two stitches back down on this um, main section here. So work in that decrease there. Oops, I think I missed a yarn over there. There we go, pull through all of those. And now we're going to chain two again, and then we're gonna turn, and then we'll half double crochet across each of the eight stitches, and then we're gonna work down the side again. So let's do those half double crochets first. So the first one will go in the top of that decrease. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then number eight. And then we're gonna work um, a half double crochet in the ends of the previous three rows here. So we're gonna work three half double crochets. So the first one will go right here in the end of the one row lower. And the next one will go in the end of this next row here. So just kind of above where that decrease is. And then the third one's just gonna go right in where that decrease is. There we go. And then we're gonna work another half double crochet decrease in the next two stitches here back on this main section. So we're not gonna work where there already is a half double crochet decrease. We're gonna work in the next two here. There we go, I'm just gonna pull that nice and tight and then I'm going to chain two and then turn. And now we're gonna be working back on the right side here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a half double crochet in the first 12 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and now we're going to, um, we're kind of going to bring this uh, heel section up to the rest of the stocking here. So we're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch down here. So not the one where the decrease is. We're going to work into the next stitch here. We're going to do a slip stitch to join that down. There we go. And then we're going to chain two. And then we're gonna work a half double crochet decrease. Um, we're gonna work in the same stitch as this chain two we just made and the next stitch. So I'm gonna yarn over, insert into that same stitch as the chain two, yarn over again, insert into the next stitch, and then I'm gonna pull through all of those loops on my hook. There we go. And then we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep doing another 10 half double crochet stitches. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10 and you will know yours worked out properly when you only have two stitches left here and this next part is a decrease so we're not going to worry about that but we're going to work a half double crochet decrease into these last two stitches here and then we're going to join to the top of this stitch here this section where the heel is um, with a slip stitch and this is going to be where our rounds start up again There we go, and now we're going to chain two. And then we're just going to work one half double crochet into each stitch around, and we're gonna do this for four rounds. So it's just one half double crochet in the top of each stitch. And this is because we're working on the height of the stocking now. We finished the toe section, we shaped around the heel section, and now the stocking is going to start going upwards towards the top. And just when you're working your first round of half double crochets in each stitch here, um, you'll see that one spot coming up right now um, where we joined with a slip stitch. I'm trying to get that heel section up. Um, so we'll just make sure that we are working in each stitch. So we're going to work our half double crochet here and we're not going to work into the middle of the chain we're going to work into the top of the half double crochet decrease here there we go we're just going to continue all the way around and it should be 24 stitches in total for each of these rounds up here And we're almost back at the start. And there we go. So now we're just going to join to the top of the first stitch with a slip stitch. There we go. And then we'll chain two. And then there's going to be three more rounds of just one half double crochet in each stitch. So I'll let you just do those three rounds. I'll do them off camera and then I'll show you how to join the white yarn in and to complete the top of the stocking. You're almost there. You just did the hardest part here working the heel. So it should be smooth sailing for the next three rounds and I'll meet you right back here. Okay, here we are. We're back around. We just finished off um, the last round of the half double crochet stitches and now we're gonna work the top of the stocking here in white. So I just have one more half double crochet stitch left here on this round because I wanted to show you how to work the color change. So I'm just gonna yarn over, just like I'm doing a half double crochet, insert my hook, pull up a loop. And then for the last part of the half double crochet stitch, I'm going to join in my white yarn here. So there we go. And then I'm going to make my slip stitch into the top of the first half double crochet with the white yarn. There, and I'll pull it nice and tight, and I'm going to pull my green end tight as well as my white end here. And then I'm going to chain two, and then I'm going to work one double crochet. Note how we're switching to double crochet instead of half double crochet. Um, into each stitch around and I'm just going to work for the first little bit over top of the two yarn tails here making them easier um, just weaving them in now as we work over them instead of afterwards uh, but if you prefer to work them in afterwards that works too and we're working on half or on double crochet stitches not half double crochet stitches anymore so we're just going to do one double crochet stitch into each stitch all the way around. And then I'm going to show you how to work those front post and back post um, double crochet stitches. And we're just about halfway here. There we 
There we go, last uh, four stitches. There, okay, so now uh, we're gonna join to the top of the first stitch with a slip stitch. And then we're gonna alternate front post, um, double crochet and back post double crochet stitches to kind of give that um, sort of ribbed texture at the top. So it'll be yarn over and it'll be a front post double crochet around the first double crochet. So I'm just gonna go around the post here. And I'm gonna work a double crochet and then I'm gonna yarn over, and then I'm gonna work a back post double crochet over the next double crochet. So I insert my hook from the back and around, yarn over, pull that back through, and complete the rest of that stitch. So again, front post double crochet, you go through from the front of your project, you go around the post of the stitch, and then complete a double crochet as you normally would. And then for the back post, you yarn over and go around the post starting on the back side of your project. Yarn over behind, pull it up. So you're just gonna continue front post double crochet and back post double crochet all the way around. And I'll meet you back around at the other end when we're done this round. All right, so we're all finished all the way up to the top of our stocking here. I just joined um, my last um, back post double crochet stitch just to the top of my first front post double crochet stitch with just a slip stitch. So you'll have this yarn tail um, to weave in afterwards, but otherwise your little stocking is now done. And then you're just gonna take your little bear and stick him inside of your stocking to make sure he fits. And there you go, perfect fit. Um, I hope you liked this pattern. I hope you found this video tutorial helpful for working up the stocking. And you can find this free pattern on my blog, loopsandlovecrochet.com. Uh, please follow Loops and Love Crochet on Instagram, on Facebook, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.